So you guys doing reload now? Fire. Hey buddy. Two confirmed impacts on target. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, they just got a fire one ready, fire command. Uh, so as soon as they moved out from the high point to the firing point, we'll shoot that rocket and uh, get steel on target. Three, one round at my command fire missions. Kind of like see. Break. I, if I could describe in one word, I would say proud. The, uh, we've spent a lot of time uh, preparing within my battery, but also bringing, bringing members of this battalion of, of 194 over here to partner and build relationships uh, with, with our Jordanian counterparts. And to come out here and see, see that executed uh, professionally and timely and accurately like it was today, it was just incredibly uh, proud feeling. Uh, the soldiers, and officers and NCOs out here did it, an amazing job, and it really shows anybody that would watch watch this and you know read and learn about this exercise what we're capable as a team, capable of as a team between us and our Jordanian counterparts. So pride, definitely. One last, one last thing: asking the uh, question about how do they, they both how do they both benefit? How do you feel? Uh, how do you feel this training is beneficial for both the, the United States Army and also all the other nations out here taking part in your life? I'd say w what's most beneficial for everybody is you learn the ta tactics, techniques, and procedures of different countries. For example, last night we had a meeting with our uh, Italian Special Forces observers and our Jordanian High Mars partners and our FDC. So we're learning how they call for fire 
how the Jordanians process fire missions, and how we deliver fire all at the same time. So really getting to learn different aspects of how the, the other militaries operate help us all grow. And uh, someday if, if our nations call upon us to defend each other, we'll be able to fight in that manner.